Hello, Solid Ice Scoopers, and welcome back to another podcast episode. I'm your host, Caleb Solid and it is good to see y'all. For those of you watching it on YouTube, I'm sure you figured it out by now. This is going to be our Holly Jolly Christmas episode. For those of you listening on SoundCloud, thanks for listening, and thanks for being loyal subscribers. Don't forget, you can follow us on YouTube as well. All right, so before we get to the Holly Jolly of it all, let's take a minute, and I want to know how everybody's year has gone out there so far, Solid Ice Scoopers. So what we're going to do is I want everybody to close their eyes, take a deep breath in, and deep breath out, and reflect on how your year has gone. And a personal challenge for you, if you will, if you had to sum up your whole year in two words or less, how would you sum it up? Do you think you would sum it up in a good way and use words like awesomely amazing? Or do you think you would sum it up in a semi-negative but not quite bad way, saying it was, you know, stressful and annoying or irritating, words like that? And then I want you to think why you picked that word or words that you're summing your year up with. What was stressful about it? What was amazing about it? What were the good parts? What were the bad parts? And then out of that, I want you to comment what your words are, why you think you chose that word, and I'll do you one better. Tell me what you think your New Year's resolution is going to be to make 2023 a better, or if you used good words, a great year. Because if you're just saying the year was good, do you know it can improve just a little bit? And if you're using the semi-negative words like stressful and irritating, you know it can go up to being good now. And some more self-reflection here to help you while you're thinking about these words that you will use to sum up your year. I'm going to briefly tell you what words I picked and why I believe personally that I picked these words. So I do got to personally admit I was a little semi-negative about this at first and I said stressful which it's you know everybody has their own kind of stress thing but as many of you know the end of the year personally I was in two sign language classes which personally was a whole thing and I am not done with sign language yet I still got to get through sign language three and sign language four but that's four I and uh, but I have semi-confidence because I did better than I thought in sign language so then I also used words like good so it was my exact words were stressfully good those are the two words I used to sum up the year. I believe I chose those two words to sum up my year because there were times when I wasn't sure I was going to make it. And there were some times out there when I was like, you know what? I got this. It's fine. It's been like this summer, for instance, was very interesting working at Shark Wake Park, which was completely awesome. But I was working as a camp counselor and as a lifeguard, so I was with the little kids most of the time, which any of y'all out there that babysit or are parents know what I mean when you're with kids. Kids will stress you out, but in a fun way, and it's awesome working with the kids, and for those of you that are loyal subscribers know, I do an end of year video that is basically a really cool picture slideshow of all the things that happen in this video you'll see a brief pause and you'll blank miss it kind of moment of when the kids took some really cool sunscreen that was like colorful blue and yellowy sunscreen to used it as face paint because you know it's fine and you just they face painted me and gave me all kinds of cool shapes and then I'll tell you the suntan came out kind of weird that day but it was totally worth it because it was very entertaining with the kids and they also did the same to the other camp counselors afterwards and you'll see 
uh, amazingly great part about the summer that was a surprise was some of the people that I worked with at Shark Wake Park did a whole thing, which you loyal subscribers will know about this, of the 22nd birthday. And I did a slight mini me video with the 22 song because obviously 22, you got to do it kind of thing. 22, 22, it works out. And it was just really cool that they threw me a surprise birthday party, which I'm internally thankful for. And I'm going to miss them because I do not quite know if I will be back there next summer or not. And another thing you loyal subscribers should be pretty excited about is this past year is going to mark a year since we got Ike back on the Soliday Scoop, which it was awesome working with Ike again, doing some really cool fun facts. And we also got a cool bonus that's going to be at the end of this podcast for those of you all watching on YouTube. SoundCloud already know about this because of the intro, but for those of you watching on YouTube, it's going to be a really cool uh, Up on the Housetop, um, Blake Shelton edition of yours truly singing because I somehow talked me into this being a good idea. That's going to be the holly jolly part of this all. But this past year has been stressful. We're going to talk about these two words real quick. Stressful because there were moments when... I felt lost and not in control and was just worried that nothing's going to happen and I searched for like j just an example going back into the summertime because you know summer was like a whole forever ago but going back in time in the summer was a whole thing of I did a cool internship at a local church shooting a video and stuff but again those of you that are little subscribers know that I did the same exact thing with Atlantic Broadband in high school and it was pretty much all that and you know brief recap I already knew what I was doing so I didn't feel that I gained as much as I was expected to off of that, but I still enjoy and I'm grateful for the opportunity that I did it because it helps and it looks good on a resume. It helps with applying to more jobs to get into the industry, which again, those of you the loyal subscribers know that's why I do these podcasts. It's fun to talk with y'all and get the um, idea flowing and get the experience needed to be into the industry. And it was just stressful because I wasn't sure that this was it. This was going to be helpful because it was the same stuff over and over again. And it felt repetitive. But at the same time, it also felt necessary. So I'm glad I did it. And going back and forth. Um, it was also kind of a slow summer. There wasn't like too much going on. But at the same time, it was busy because of the like working with the kids over the summer and then I found now not many people know this but I found myself being roped into working with kids again at a completely different local church in the area that I love doing because it's just fun working with kids so I am thinking that if I could stay in the film industry and work with kids a lot. That would be something that I would very much enjoy doing. So, like, working with child actors, I think, would be a thing. But I'm not sure. I'm still going for film studies, and I still want to get in production. I still want to do the behind the scenes. But I am, as many of y'all commented in the earlier podcast, expanding my horizons more. And I am... Thankful because this past year I have gained friends, become more deep in love with my faith, and have a lot more to be thankful for than I did in our prior podcast which was only a month ago for those of you that are again little subscribers that keep up to date and this past year for me has proven that like okay so you know when you lose something and you never find it like say you lost your 
wallet and you searched for like ever to find it and then like two weeks later when you're not looking for your wallet you're like oh shoot my wallet has been on my dresser this whole time and I just didn't see it because it was behind a picture frame that I didn't want to move out of the way or wherever just in the imagery analogy here it's like when you're not looking for something it seems that you find that something more than when you're actually looking for it like in my case when I was not looking to make friends and I was like not forcing a friendship upon by like trying to talk to a person so much it seems that that's when I become friends with somebody and when I'm not pushing us to go hang out and go to a movie or something that's when they're like all right let's go hang out let's go to a movie or something you might be interesting I want to be your friend kind of thing and it's awesome that I am able to make friends and just be myself more so than not and to sum it up tie it up in a quick little bow before we get to the fun part of this because I know some of y'all out there are like he's dragging us out he's dragging us out kind of thing I just want to say this has been a great, stressful, awesomely amazing year, and I wouldn't change any of it if I could. And I hope that y'all solid scoopers out there feel the same way about your year as you reflected, went back through it, and figured out what two words you'd use to sum up your year. Hopefully you have no regrets. And you went for it, and you're just like, this has been the best year ever kind of thing, and I'm ready for Christmas to be here, and I can't wait till next year because it's going to be even better. So real quickly, we're going to say Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and in a few seconds, we're going to cut to a really fun clip of Up on the Housetop. Ready? Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hey, look up there! That's Santa! Woo! Up on the house top, reindeer paws. Out jumps a good old Santa Claus. Out through the chimney with lots of toys. For the little one's Christmas joys. Woo ho ho! Who wanna go? Ho ho ho! Who wanna go up on the house top? Click click click! Down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. First comes a stocking, little Bill. Oh dear Santa, feel it well. If a doll laughs and cries, one they can open and shut its eyes. Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Ho, 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 who wouldn't go? Up on the house top, click, click, click. Down through the chimney with good Saint Nick. Ta da! Woo! Yes, yeah, Santa! Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho! Now in the stocking, little Bill, oh dear, see what a glorious fill. Fill the hammer, watch attacks, a whistle and a ball and a whip that cracks. Woo! Ho, ho! Who wouldn't go? Ho, ho, ho! Who wouldn't go? Up on the housetop, click, click, click! Down through the chimney with good Saint Nick! Woo! Merry Christmas, Santa!